pull the peacock's feathers. Someone's head at the octopus. Someone else strike the zebra. When there's a strange crime in the zoo, and you're looking for a clue, you'll always find him right on track. Sherlock Yak. Sherlock Yak. With Hermione right by his side. The bad guys just can't hide. If you get lost, he'll get you back. Sherlock Yak. All the dreams and all the dough. He's and mean, and he's no fool. And he's way double cool. He won't stand for no yakety yak. Sherlock Yak. I'm on the go. Will you find out before Sherlock who trimmed the peacock? Oh, yes, you're a beauty. Yes, you're a beauty. How marvelous. Has anyone ever seen such grace, style, and perfection? Leon! 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 Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Peacock, you're beautiful. Hmm. I'm also beautiful, but a little less than you. Hmm. Meet me in an hour by the telephone booth in the alley. A female admirer. Hmm. You're so great. Yoo-hoo! Anyone here? Hmm? Hmm? Hello there, still beautiful. Cricket? You like cricket, Sherlock? That horribly boring game where no one understands the rules? The fine points of this noble sport can put one off. But when you've listened to the Worcestershire Worcestershire Championship, you'll understand it perfectly. And to help you to appreciate this sporting event, let me explain a few simple principles. In cricket, you'll find the rules are important, but so is the spirit of the game. A cricket match is played between two teams of 11 players on a grassy field, typically 137 to 157 meters in diameter. The laws of cricket... This is Sherlock Yak. Uh, I mean, it's Harmony. Hmm? Oh, it's you, Peacock. Yes, we'll be there right away. Your cricket game will have to wait, Sherlock. We have to lead an investigation. What? But it's a disaster! Yes, it's a true disaster. Look at all my feathers. <laughs> oh, Leon! All right, I guess it'll grow back, right? We can wait until the end of the game. Oh, no, Sherlock. Investigating is our priority. Hmm? We can't let this horrible crime go unpunished. <laughs> You're right, Hermione. We must find the criminal as quickly as possible. So I can listen to the second part of the game. Fine, let's see how a mysterious female admirer told you to meet her near the telephone booth. Then the criminal, who weighed quite a bit, tackled you to the ground. He tied this pink nylon stocking over your eyes so you wouldn't recognize him. Then he clipped your feathers with a pair of scissors. Oh, Leon. Hmm? Do you have enemies? No, only males could hate me out of jealousy. All my neighbors are females, and therefore they are all in love with me. <laughs> hmm. Sorry to disappoint you, Peacock. But everything shows that, in fact, it was a female with a grudge that attacked you, and that she wears hmm? very bright red nail polish. Indeed, this nylon was torn and was repaired using some nail polish. Oh, come now. A female would never attack my feathers. I'm much too beautiful. In certain countries, females tear out their feathers when they hear my name. They're so crazy about me. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid that Peacock isn't very objective. We'll have to come up with a list of suspects ourselves. Starting with those female neighbors who are so in love. Good deduction, Hermione. Sherlock, where are you going? Hmm? Well, I, I... I thought I'd go by my house to take my small notebook and, uh... And I think hmm. you want to go home to listen to your game of cricket. Uh. Yes, well, I confess. Come on, just the beginning of the game. I am shocked, Sherlock. You're putting pleasure before duty. Me? Not at all. I've never done that in my life. You must do the dishes and do it carefully. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Look, Master, I did them all very well. I'm a responsible yak, Hermione. Come on, let's go. Good morning, skunk. We're doing a quick investigation about your neighbor, the peacock. 
First important question. Do you have a radio? Huh? Sherlock? Uh, yes. Um, tell me, you're pretty good at handling scissors, right? I like everything hmm? to be just right. Not a hair out of place. Well, about hairs out of place, can I ask you what you think of your neighbor? Peacock? He spends his time bothering his female neighbors, all very respectable women. And I wink at them and I prance around yelling, Leon! And don't forget all the songs. You know, he sings all night long to himself and wakes up the whole neighborhood. Interesting. So you could have wanted to snip off all the feathers of his tail with some scissors. But I'm a respectable lady, and respectable ladies do not commit crimes. Hmm, maybe so. Do you know anyone else who's not too crazy about the peacock? Of course. All the members of the respectable ladies who do not like Peacock Club. Interesting. Would you have a list of the club's members? There are three of us. Crane, Mrs. Hippo, and myself. One last thing. This is our major piece of evidence. Would you mind trying it on for us? Hmm. Oh, you can't be serious. It's not at all respectable. Would you rather have us think that a respectable lady could have committed a crime? Oh, all right. Give me that thing. Fits you like a glove. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you, but I never wear any. With my gardening and taking care of the house, they would always have runs like this one, and that's not proper and not respectable in the least. Thank you, skunk. Hmm. You know, Sherlock, I'm really glad you gave up listening to your game. Ball of Purity would be proud of you. Hmm? Sherlock? Yes, yes, here I am. Hmm. I'm expecting a package. Good morning. Oh. I hadn't heard you come in. Hello, Crane. We have a few questions to ask you about Peacock. Mm, Peacock? Well, he's a good neighbor. He's very friendly. Really? But you belong to the respectable ladies who don't like Peacock Club. That's true. And you're also often on the cover of the zoo's gossip magazine. You are rivals of sorts. But that's not hmm? why I joined the respectable ladies who do not like Peacock Club. I did it because hmm. of Skunk. She said that otherwise it would hurt my reputation. I see. And could you please try on this nylon stocking? Hmm, it fits you like a glove, as does your fingernail polish. Isn't that right, Sherlock? Mm hmm? Hmm? Sherlock! Uh, um, yes, perfect. Thanks a lot, Crane. You really have some beautiful legs. Mm -hmm. You seem rather distracted since we came across Pink Flamingo, mm -hmm. Sherlock. It's the way I always look, Hermione. The look of a detective who stays focused at all times. Huh? Hmm. It's true. I am a member of the respectable ladies who do not like Peacock Club, and I'm proud of it. Mm, did you see that, Sherlock? Red fingernail polish. Hmm. Huh? And why did you join that club? Because I couldn't stand him anymore. At first, it was great to have him as a customer. It gave my salon a certain reputation. But always prancing, always making a spectacle of himself, it became a bother. And so, oh, oh, I'm the one who did it. I confess. <laughs> You cut off Peacock's feathers? What? Oh, no, not at all. I drew some mustaches on the pictures of Peacock in the salon. <sighs> but she's the only suspect who is heavy enough to tackle Peacock to the ground. What do you think? Sherlock, hmm? 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 are you listening to me? Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> all right. And could you please hmm? try this on? Hmm. But of course. Mm. Oh, I'm so sorry. It must not be my size. <laughs> and instantly drives it home. Yes, 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 yes! Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Sherlock, you're incorrigible. I understand your reaction, Hermione, but you're wrong to get mad, hmm. for I know who the culprit is. Hmm? And you, young detective, if you pay close attention, I'm sure you can figure it out. Let's go over the case. Peacock got tackled to the ground by someone heavy, who then blindfolded him with a nylon stocking repaired with red fingernail polish. Then his aggressor trimmed his tail feathers with some scissors. The suspects are members of the respectable ladies who do not like Peacock Club. Crane, Mrs. Hippo, and Skunk. They each have something to hold against him, but only one is the culprit. Which one? Oh, 
Oh, come now. None of these ladies could have done it. They all absolutely adore me. Don't you believe it, Peacock. Listen to this. Skunk, mm -hmm. as founder of the respectable ladies who do not like Peacock Club, you huh? have the best motive. In addition, you're an expert with scissors. But could you have tackled the victim to the ground? Mrs. Hippo, huh? you also don't like Peacock and you're heavy enough to tackle him to the ground. Oh. But could the nylon used on him really belong to you? Actually, there's really only one person here who uses red fingernail polish, has a motive, and also wears nylons. Isn't that right, Crane? Hmm. For the culprit is you. Huh? But that's impossible. I could never have tackled Peacock to the ground. I'm thin and slim thanks to my exercise. That's just it. You used your exercise weights to weigh yourself down, which made it possible for you to tackle your victim and then cut off all his feathers. Um, um, it's true, it was me. But you made a mistake, Sherlock Yak. Really? How so? It wasn't out of jealousy that I cut off Peacock's feathers. <laughs> but because of love, I love him. Crane. I love him, but he only cares about his own beauty, and he's never so much as looked at me. I wanted to teach him a lesson. <laughs> <clears throat> it's not very respectable, but it's very romantic. I think you're right, Skunk, but a crime of passion still calls for punishment. Hmm. Here you are. <laughs> well, I like the fan, but what on earth have you drawn on it? It's a heart for you. <laughs> it's ugly. It's a message. <laughs> Sherlock, don't tell me you're going to listen to the replay of that Worcestershire cricket game. Of course I am. I didn't catch all the details of the game with this investigation. Hmm? Mm. And we're underway. Come on, guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> 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 